The next menu system available is the measurements menu. There are two methods of doing measurements on the instrument. We can use the rulers and do manual measurements or we can use the automatic measurements. So if we wanted to measure, for example, the uh, cycle time, we, we could do it manually by selecting the cursors and we have a little icon where we can pick up the cursors so we, I could position that on the peak of that sine wave and a second cursor on the second peak and then we can read delta time between those cursors so here we can see 10 microseconds if I wanted to measure the amplitude we also have amplitude cursors available so I could put a cursor at the bottom of the waveform and a second cursor on the top of the waveform and here we can measure the peak to peak value here uh, manually as 1.788 volts but similarly we could do the same measurement automatically so we can select the measurements menu and add a measurement and the source has to be selected so in this case we only have uh, channel A available but it could be from channel A, B, C and D or it could in fact measure, make measurements on a reference channel then uh, there's a whole selection of amplitude and time measurements available so for example if I selected uh, peak to peak and we select the whole trace rather than between uh, the rulers and then when we say OK this measurement becomes available so here we can see we're making the uh, measurement here again 1.8 volts peak to peak and we do get some stats on it as well the min and max values etc. To remove a measurement we can then just select delete and the measurement is removed. Uh, other measurements available is the uh, time measurements so here we can measure frequency cycle times rise and fall times one extra feature in the measurements menu if we do have a spectrum display we will get uh, spectrum measurements so I'll just quickly turn on the spectrum display which is the third icon in the middle menu system so here now we've gone to a, a spectrum display and if we look at the measurements now we'll see they are uh, spectrum type measurements so we have harmonic distortion signal to noise ratio so I'll just put the display back to the uh, YT display the next menu item along is the tools menu and here we see a lot of um, extra features that are available and these are all available as standard features in the product so the first one is the custom probe menu so we can customize our own uh, input channel probing so for example it could be a current probe and we could change the vertical scale factors then to uh, display current under the math channel menu we have standard built-in math functions invert uh, adding and subtracting channels multiplying div dividing channels so for example if we selected a minus B channel that could give it a pseudo uh, differential uh, math channel display under the library functions we can build our own complex library function and save it as our own defined math function so we can create our own individual math functions and save them The third item down is the uh, reference memory. So here we can uh, handle the, any reference memories that have been uh, displayed. So reference menus, we can do a right mouse click in the current display. And again, we see it's like the views menu. So we can add views and channels. But here we can actually now add a reference waveform. So if I add a reference waveform of channel A, and now if I provide just a vertical offset, we can now see here we have a reference waveform displayed and we still have the uh, live acquisition being displayed so now if I return to the tools menu I can select reference menu now we can see we have a, a reference channel displayed and again I could remove that from the display and select OK and we just now have the uh, 
live acquisition and again we can just provide vertical offset by picking and dragging that particular waveform. Serial decoding again available as a standard function on the on the uh, product and we can decode uh, the CAN bus, I squared C bus, RS232 and SPY. The next item down is the alarms menu so we can define alarms we can capture data we can check if the data is gone outside a, a defined mask and the mask menu is uh, below that so here we can build our own mask around a waveform and then use the alarm to check it under the preference menu there's a lot of uh, setups available for uh, special functions so for example we can define the color of each trace so a, a lot of uh, special functions that can be declared about the particular setup of the product